Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm doing another serious video today. Uh, it seems we've done quite a lot this year. Anyway, it's about the hashtag Stop the Shock. Now it is autism related and as an autistic person I do feel it is my duty and responsibility to share my autistic views on the situation. I do confess I am a bit late to join in the discussion because I did find it quite confusing and difficult to understand, but I think I've got the basics sorted out, so now I can uh, share my thoughts. Now, a few months ago, many of you may remember that me and other autistic people took part in a protest about an American charity live stream on YouTube. How, although the idea was good, the money was being sent to the wrong organisation. Now I'm not going to go through the full details of that again, you can watch that on other videos, but I will say that the trouble is, in America, there are some autistic organisations that would rather find a cure for autism than support autistic people. And what's worse, some of these organisations endorse ABA, it stands for Applied Behavioural Analysis, it's sort of like a conversion therapy. Uh, they want to make autistic people and other disabled people into normal people. A lot of people don't approve of this for two reasons. One, it increases post-traumatic stress disorder and it can even push people into committing suicide. And two, I've mentioned this in previous videos, even if you have a disability, you should be proud to be who you are. You don't need conversion therapy or drugs to change you into something that you're not. That's why there's a hashtag, say no to ABA. So if anyone recommends it to you, just say no. Just say no, no. Just say no, just say no, no. And apparently it's gotten worse in America because now they want to bring in shocking devices for disabled students. A student would wear like a collar or a bracelet or something else that contains an electric charge. I think they're called gradual electronic decelerators, something like that. The idea is if a student does something wrong, like breaks a rule, stops working, or does something that could be considered as bad behaviour, then they get an electric shock, kind of like uh, getting zapped by a taser. These kinds of methods are usually used on criminals and terrorists, and that's understandable, but to use them for autistic and disabled students? That's just wrong. It's unacceptable. Unfortunately, this is legal at the Judge Rottenberg Educational Centre in Massachusetts, and a lot of autistic people are considering this as torture, and I agree. Whoever came up with this idea is a complete and utter bastard. The trouble is that some people assume that some disabilities, like autism, is some kind of bad behaviour. Well, it's not. I mean, I had this trouble when I was at primary school. The teachers there had very little understanding about autism, and I didn't get much of the right support. Obviously, they had a lot to learn. These people in Massachusetts need to understand that just because someone has a disability, that doesn't automatically mean that they're going to behave very badly. Some disabilities, like autism, are there forever. There is no cure for them. And shocking people with autism, that doesn't help. They need proper support. It's true that some badly behaved students do need to be punished and learn discipline. And I'm not talking about bullies. Earlier this year, I took part in a panel all about autism, and we were talking about how some autistic people use their disability to get away with bad behaviour. So if they say something inappropriate or do something wrong, they would then say, oh, don't worry, I'm autistic, I can get away with this. Well, no, you can't. That's no excuse for bad behaviour. And one of the guest panels, uh, she was talking about how there was one autistic person who kept raising their hand, not to ask or answer a question, but because they thought, oh, it'd be more fun to uh, annoy people, you know, ruin everything for everyone else. Now, that kind of behaviour from an autistic person, that's not acceptable. And it does need to be disciplined. But I would not use the shock therapy treatment thing. That doesn't work. 
if you're going to punish someone and make them understand discipline, what's wrong with a good old-fashioned detention? That's better than getting shocked. Back in the 90s and the noughties, most badly behaved children in America were sent to military school. Why can't they do that if they want to discipline badly behaved children? And before you say, well, they can't do that these days because of COVID, that's no excuse. You can't keep blaming the pandemic forever. Well, one day it's going to be a very lame excuse, just like uh, the excuse for not doing your homework. Oh, a dog ate it. Can't use that forever. But like I said, just because someone has a disability, that doesn't automatically mean that they're a bad person. Hence the phrase, never judge a book by its cover. Get to know the person first. Now, lots of autistic people have been protesting and complaining about this shock therapy treatment thing, but unfortunately, some people are not listening. But that doesn't mean we should give up. No, we're going to keep on fighting this. We want our voices heard because we autistic people, we know what's right. And I've said this before in many videos. Being autistic, it's not all bad. I mean, I've always focused on the positive and good points about being autistic. And if you're autistic, then you should do the same. Focus on the good points. So I would appreciate it if you could share the hashtag stop the shock and hopefully we can put an end to this torture. And there are other videos that do go into great detail about uh, the situation. So do uh, take a look at them. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Over and out.